61A, lecture number 19, announcements. The ANTS project is due this Friday. You can earn two bonus points for early submission by Wednesday, or one for early submission by Thursday. On Thursday, we'll have a project party. So if you need help, come during the day or the evening, and we should be able to help you in either case. Midterm 2 is next Thursday, starting at 7 p.m. Well, actually 7, 10 p.m., but feel free to get there at 7 p.m. If you get to a lecture hall where there's still a lecture going on, try not to make a bunch of noise outside. It's very distracting for them, and that means that they'll run late, which is problematic because that means we can't start our exam on time. So just wait quietly outside, and then you can enter at 7. The focuses of this midterm are recursion, in particular tree recursion, and mutation, such as non-local statements, lists, and dictionaries. You need to understand the object system. What's a class statement? What's inheritance? And you need to understand hierarchical data, linked lists and trees in particular. You also need to know how all of the mechanics from midterm one work. The exams in this course are certainly cumulative. We will hold review sessions on Sunday at 6 and 7.30 p.m. in 155 to an L. This exam we're going to have seat assignments. You'll be in the same room that you were last time, but you'll have a particular seat. We'll email those out next Wednesday. If you want to request an alternate exam time because you have a class conflict or something equally important, you can fill out this form. If you want to request a special seat, such as a left-handed desk, you can fill out this form. Both are due this Friday, 1016. Homework 6 will be released soon. It's due next Wednesday. It's not a real homework. I want you to focus on getting ready for your exam. So the only required portion of this homework is a mid-semester survey, just to let us know how we can improve the course for the rest of the term. I will include some optional technical questions on all of these important focus areas for the course so that you have a chance to practice. You can also find practice problems, of course, by going here in the search bar and typing practice. All of these practice problems with a link will lead you to lists of practice problems organized by topic. It's a really good idea to carve out some time to solve some practice problems, with enough time to spare that you could go back and review lecture or reading material and really understand what's going on before the midterm sneaks up on you. Reviewing lab and discussion problems is an excellent way to review. Those tend to be a little bit less complicated than the ones that show up on homework or projects. Good luck on your project. See you soon.